Hello everyone out there on YouTube, this is Scampy Bum here with another episode of Sly Cooper. Last time, we got the key from the Treasure in the Deep level that didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. I was pretty sure I was going to mess up and have to redo that level at least two or three times. In this episode, we're going to get the final treasure key, which is hidden over there. But first, let's go out and get this precariously placed one up, or yeah, one up basically. Extra life, one up. Which, it's odd why we there's games like this that still use life, or have one ups, even though you can just restart the game, or it'll give you just the game over screen, and it'll let you start back where you were. But in this episode, we're gonna go to the gunboat graveyard. So, down below we go. And Ahoy, dog hands! <laughs> Capital job unloading that cargo last night. You're the crown jewel of my operation. Do me the service of approving your worth yet again by protecting the treasure key that I have stored down there. It appears there's a prowler on the premises. Well, it looks like they're all going to get flogged for a fortnight, because we're going to go get that treasure key. But this is, like he said, the area where he has all of them offload all the treasure that they get from the sunken ships. So there's a lot of these walrus guards down here. Just everywhere you'll see walrus guards and squid guards. There won't be much in the line of security, I don't remember down here, but there is a lot when it comes to having to do platforming over water. Which, that must be a recent, that must have been that ship that he mentioned earlier in the series where he said, oh, congratulations on getting that sinking its 50th vessel, because that ship's still pretty on fire. And we have to just avoid those two bottles over there, because I'm pretty sure... If I remember correctly, what am I, a duck? Correctly, that there is a spotlight constantly pointing on them. So, there is really no way to get those two bottles without setting off a spotlight. And there's only 20 bottles to this level. I thought there was 30. I know there's in later missions that there's a total of 40 in some of them, which gets really annoying. And... Well, ain't that disturbing looking. Uh, eyeball floating up from the depths. Makes you really wonder what's in these oceans. Hmm. You're not that big of a challenge, buddy. Wait, why do they have these wings mounted here like this? It's not like they're disassembling a plane. Hmm. Is it beneficial to sneak over top of him? Nope. There's the dive technique we picked up, I think, in one of the re in the last episode that had a treasure vault. Just use it to slam down on guards. I think it's uninterruptible. So once you do it, you don't have to worry about a guard hitting you while you're doing your dive attack, and... No, oh, I thought there was bottles up there. Jeez. We haven't... Okay, well, never mind. We are almost to the end of the level, because... If I'm counting correctly, there should be a, two bottles in that safe, and then there's that one right there. And with that, yeah. All 20 bottles. I thought this was going to be a longer episode. Yes, Bentley. This one was cake. Input 719. Oop. 719. 
and something after we get this piece of the Thievius Raccoonus about this vault, or all vaults. Lucky fly, this page features Karen Cooper Giwa's coin magnet technique. All she had to do was stand near Muddy and it would magically jump into her purse. From now on, you'll automatically collect any coins you come near. Okay, I swore this page was in a much later level. But the fun fact that I learned about vaults is that the codes are actually the same, it's the content that gets changed. But with that, we get our seventh Trevor the seventh and final treasure key. So that means in the next episode, we're gonna be shooting Sly out of a cannon. But I think I want to make sure I have plenty of lives before I shoot Sly out of that cannon because if I'm remembering correctly, Sir Raleigh's fight can get pretty nasty if you're not good with jumping. Hit the select button to bring up your mission map. From there, you can check out the stats on places you've been to and also take some shortcut warps to get around faster. Yep, like you just mentioned there. The select brings up all this so you can just scroll over each level. But I think that's going to be enough for this episode because next time we're going to go after Sir Raleigh the Frog. But until then, if you enjoyed the content, please subscribe to my channel. And this is Scamper B. Bum, bidding you all adieu.